Hi everyone, it's Kay from the Paper Shed UK. This is my first voice video for YouTube. It was a request from Mandy Chilvers who um, requested to know how I do the Amazon packaging journal covers. I posted this on Tanya's Tatty Treasure site. This is an Amazon packaging um journal with the two ends open and mandy requested that i uh, gave her the instructions to do it so i'm sorry if you already do this you probably do and um, there's lots of people out there um that do things differently or the same so i just thought i'd honor mandy because i've written these instructions down like i said i was going to a uh, hundred times and a hundred times I can't work them out myself so I've decided to come on and have a go so we're going to get on with it it's an A3 Amazon cardboard package I'm sure in the journal world everyone has got one of these somewhere so we start off with that we cut this side down and this side down and we cut it down to length. I've already done that. This is the size that I use for my journals. Um, I do it five and a half by eight and a half with a one inch spine. And that has held uh, three fairly chunky signatures. So the first thing that we do, you cut it down to size. You leave this, this in. Um, which usually ends up as my top. I like it as it finishes the top quite well. Um, I have done this, used this method and covered it with fabric. Um, it does work, but it's not great. So I've done it on this one where I have covered it with card and then covered it with my pattern papers. Um, this is really sturdy. Um, obviously, it's done the same way inside for sturdiness, really, but it is rock solid. When I did the fabric cover, um, I didn't double up and I put wadding on the front and left the inside and it's made it too floppy, really. I mean, maybe it works for other things I don't know uh, this is just the way that I do it so I'm going to crack on and get it done and show you what I mean so all I really do is I get my scoreboard I've left this quite long so it's about 13 so I know that the middle is six and a half so I go half inch to the right and score to the middle and then I do half inch to the left to create my one inch down to the middle. Is that a good score? This does have a habit of cracking um, which is why I always cover the spine with fabric when I do it. To do the other half I'm going to turn it over and score it this way in the same markings, which was seven and six. So I'm gonna come down to the middle of there, and I'm gonna come down to the middle of there. So we've done that bit, I'll just remove this. I like to do it that way because I'm going to now turn it inside out so that the writing from the envelope is on the inside. Um, you will need to score this quite heavily um, just to keep it so that it um, stops lifting up. And the reason I do that is because this, this now is a mountain on this side and a valley on that side and hopefully they will meet. So I glue down this. So we're going to do that first. Um, I just use art glitter glue. Um, it probably isn't the best one to use on camera, to be honest. 
because it takes ages to come out, but never mind, we'll try. Um, so what I do is I go down that valley there and that valley there, because at this point in time, I'm only doing the spine. Um, you don't need loads, really. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that fold back down and I'm just going to push that in just a little. And if it comes out, just rub on the end there. Um, just burnish that in so that you get a nice even coat. Um, you do need to leave this to dry, unfortunately, quite well, otherwise you won't get it. Uh, it will pop, the seams on it will pop. So we do have to manipulate it, unfortunately, a little. Um, so I'm just going to do that side. Let those beads come out so that you can go along that edge. And then do this side. I'm going to just put in what I did earlier. I just put a few of these on just to help it a little bit because you have to leave this flat while this dries because if you don't um, it will pop back open um, when you come to bend it um, so we're just going to do that for now just with lots of little ones it doesn't have to be perfect but it just helps with your final manipulation of it so we'd leave that to dry for about 10 minutes. I haven't actually um, made anything up um, to do in that 10 minutes. So we're doing this particular one with the, um, the pockets either side. If you want to do this one, I made the mistake of... Um, I glued the middle and I was going to, I was supposed to glue it all. So I've, I took it apart and I've glued it all. But what I didn't do was I didn't open the seam. And when you're doing it, when you're gluing it all so that you're just making the actual package, literally just cut along there. It just makes it so much easier than leaving it as folded because you will get air pockets in it. And I've got air pockets in this. Now I've pierced two like I would if it was in wallpaper. <laughs> um, uh, but it's still created. You can see there's a, you can just see it in there. So that's the issue with that because now I can't fill it up without cutting it open again. Um, and it's, to be honest, it's not really worth it. So what I would suggest when you're gluing it all and not having any pockets is you open the two sides and just cut them together and then glue them together. But dry them flat, put your score lines in and then dry them flat um, and then manipulate your spine. Um, it will work out a lot better and it will stop this bubbling. So that's that. Um, when you do these ones, it... It creates this wider pocket purely because when you come to put them together and you'll see when I come to struggle with that, um, because they, they won't go completely flat um, because of the air that's in it. So you completely dry it like this, completely flat, but you will create an air pocket in there which will allow the pocket to spring open. 
um, and you, it means that you have to manipulate your the end work. So when you come to put these together, and you have to you have to manipulate it into place. Um, I had to cut this one down because it was a mess um, when I first did it earlier today. So that's why I've allowed on this piece for it to be slightly wider so that when I come to take these off and manipulate the spine inside, it, it's just natural for this. Ooh, got something attached in there. It's just natural for this to um, to come open, basically. And I will give it a go while I've got the things on. So, sort of bend that one into place and then sort of bend this one. Bend this one into place and do them separately. <coughs> um... Actually, that's not too bad. If you can see, there's no... Normally, you get some... Sometimes, you just have to manipulate it into those corners, that spine, because you've glued it. Um, that's actually not bad. That's pretty good. So, yeah, that's worked out quite well. And to be honest, once it's dry, you'll just cut these two ends down to size. So at the moment, because I left it at 13, it measures exactly six and I only want it to be about five and a half. So I will um, just trim. Once that's glued together, I'll literally just trim the edge. And then you will have this. And that is how you get your Amazon packaging journal cover. I hope you enjoyed it and I didn't waffle on too much um, and it was all in frame. I'm sorry if it wasn't. It is my first go. So um, be kind. Thanks for watching um, and I'm sure I'll be back fairly soon. Thanks again. Bye.